Welcome back to the Kettleland High School Basketball Preview Show. Clark Willow Lake won the Class B Boys Basketball Championship last season, but won't defend its title as the Cyclones have jumped back to Class A. DeSmith finished second to Clark Willow Lake last March, but sits atop the preseason poll, followed by Viber Curley, White River, Sully Buttes, and Del Rapids St. Mary. Following their state runner-up finish, the DeSmith boys entered the season as the top-ranked team in Class B. The Bulldogs lost one starter from a year ago, but returned leading scorer Kalen Gary, along with returning starters Rhett Ostis, Cody Cavanaugh, and Ethan McCune, and sixth man Tory Holland. Head coach Jeff Grunhagen feels his team's balance will be their greatest strength. All five guys out there could put up a bunch of points at any point in time. Uh, they're all good defenders. They all hustle. They can all handle the ball. We don't really have a true post player in our starting lineup, so we kind of just make do with that. Our biggest challenge may be our height. Again, we won't be taller than most teams we play this year, but we weren't last year. DeSmith hosts Esteline Hendricks in their season opener on Friday. Del Rapids St. Mary hasn't played at the State B tournament since 2005, but returns three all-conference selections, including first-team all-state junior point guard Connor Libus. Head coach Colby Fitzgerald points to the Cardinals' biggest strength. Experience, one, um, we have all five starters back here this year. Um, seven kids that log 10 plus minutes a game on the varsity level. So I think that will uh, be a key factor going into this season. St. Mary's opens the season Friday at Coleman Egan. Hanson is receiving votes in the Class B boys poll as they're coming off a 17-win season that ended in the region playoffs. The Beavers return four starters, led by senior point guard Reggie Slaba, who enters his fourth year playing varsity. You know, Reggie's been with me since he was uh, a water boy uh, on, on, on teams. He was on our 2012, we went to the state tournament, and he was a, he was a water boy. So uh, he's like another coach on the floor, and he's really stepped up over the past couple of years into that leadership role like, like we expected him to. Um, and just looking forward to seeing what he can do for us this year. The Beavers open the season Friday at Ethan. The Corsica Stickney girls finished third in Class B last March, but opens the new season number one, followed by Castlewood, defending champion DeSmith, White River, and Ethan. The Castlewood girls' title defense a year ago ended in the Sodak 16. The Warriors returned the bulk of its scoring punch, led by junior Elena Benneke, seniors Kayla Hunter, and Sierra Schofield. Freshman Maddie Horn and Mackenzie Everson will also contribute, and Castlewood will also see the return of six-foot junior Dara DeCam, who missed all of last year with a knee injury. It's huge. Uh, she's a great asset to the team. Um, in 2018, she was a, one of my five starters and uh, really helped build that championship team that year. So to have her back on the court is, is going to be fun. Castlewood visits Arlington on Saturday for its season opener. Defending state champion DeSmith comes in at number three in the Class B poll. The Bulldogs lost four seniors to graduation, but returned three starters in Autumn Wilkinson, Raina Beck, and Kennedy Buckles, and key reserve Emily Martins. Head coach Doug Ostis says that experience will be key if the Bulldogs wish to make another postseason run. I mean, anytime you play, you know, as tough a schedule as we do every year, we play some bigger schools, and we have a lot of big game experience, and, you know, it's really nice to have that core of, of three Three girls coming back that, that had you know a great deal of well and actually including Emily Ford that got a great deal of experience and so that makes it a lot easier as you know trying to, to get ourselves back where we want to be. The Bulldogs begin their title defense on Friday against Esteline Hendricks. The Kettleland Sports Zone returns Friday. We'll have a preview next.